Hey guys, I'm glad to see you back on Mark and Design. We will be learning to make a machine vise on Autodesk Inventor 2018. This is an animated explosion of machine vise. Let me guide you through the parts. That the whole gray part is the body, then comes the screw rod, nuts, the lock nuts, washer, screw M6, jaw grip, screw M6 again, clamping plates and movable jaw. So let's get started. Let's start making the body of machine wise. Let's go to file, click on metric, standard mm and create. Click on start sketch 2D, click on the XY plane. The bottom length is 230 mm. We shall subtract the sides that is 5 and 5 on each side. Let's go to line, take the length as 230 minus 5 minus 5. Let's go to line again. The vertical length is 85 mm. Let's draw the line from there. 85. Yeah. Now the vertical, the horizontal length is 40 minus 5. So 40 minus 5. That's 35. The vertical length is 25. Let's go to line again. 25. There we go. Now there's a small gap over there. The length is 5. We go to line, take it as 5 mm. There we go. The length on the left side of the body, that is the vertical length, will be 27 plus 30. Let's go to line and draw it up. 27 plus 30, that's 30 plus 27. Okay, that's 57. Let's draw a straight line to a point. Over there. Okay, yeah. Let's draw a vertical line to connect those two lines. So we are done with that. Now let's fillet it. It has a radius of 10. Let's go to fillet. Type in 10. Click on those two lines, that one and the other one. Okay. Now once this is done. Let's click on finish sketch so that we can extrude the body. Let's go to extrude. The extrude length is 100 mm. So extruding it by 100 mm would be appropriate. Sorry, 100. Okay. Yeah, now that's done. Perfect. Now we'll have to make the sides of it. So let's go to origin XY plane. Let's go to origin, exit plane, and then go to new sketch. So once we go to the new sketch, let's draw the wing part of the body, that's the side part. The distance is seen as 115 mm, we'll have to subtract 5 from that. So 115 minus 5. Yeah, that's great. 110. Now we shall draw the vertical distance. Um, the length of the vertical distance would be that one that's 100 or 154 minus 100 divided by 2 154 in brackets minus 100 divided by 2 we'll get it as 27 perfect that is that's that is that small length that is that small length now the radius is 13, so let's go to arc, center point, let's click on the point, draw 13 mm radius. Okay, let's draw it. Ah, the arc is done. Now there's another arc of 8 mm. Let's go to arc, center point, arc of 8. Click on OK. Let's draw it. Perfect.
Now once this is done, we'll have to extend it by 13 mm as it is shown in the diagram. 13 and the other side would also be 13. The length on each side is 40. So let's extend it to 40, 40 by 2. But there's an arc which has a radius of 13. So let's draw that over there. Let's go to arc, center point, click on the point, 13, enter. Now let's draw the arc. That would be one fourth of it. That would be one fourth of a circle. So once we got this 13, let's remove all the dimensions. Now let's go to line, join them all, join that, join this. Okay. Now the bottom distance is 120. So we'll have to take the line command and draw a line of 120 divided by 2. That's 60. Once this is done, once this is done, go to line again, draw a random line. Then go to the arc, click on the last point, the final point, click on lock. Then click on the tangent, click on the arc and then the line. Only when we do this, it comes properly or else it will be disordered. Now let's remove the lock by deleting it and let's trim the extra portion. Trim there, trim there. Now this is done. Let's check it out from all the views. After we check, after we check them, we will be extruding the wing. Let's go to finish sketch. The, the height is 20, that is 20 mm. Click over there, 20. Okay. So the extrusion is done. Let's make the other sketch visible. Let's extrude that by 23 or extrude and extrude by 23. Type in 23. Okay. Sketch visibility is off. Let's mirror whatever we have extruded. Go to mirror, click on the feature, click on the mirror plane. That would be the one. Okay. So now this is done. Let's choose plane, mid plane. So we can find the midplane between the body on the other side also. Yeah. Now we can mirror the whole wing on the other side. Go to mirror, click on feature, click on everything. Go to mirror plane. Click on that. Yeah. Even that is done. If you click OK. Yeah. Okay. Let's make the work plane invisible. Once we're done with this, let's start making the point point. Now we are done with that. Let's go to that. Let's go over there. Right click. New sketch. Let's go to view. View style. Wireframe. Sketch. Let's draw a line. The line would be 60. Total length would be 60. So half of 60 would be 30. 60 divided by 2, 30. The height would be 10. So let's draw a line, 10. The small length would be 60 minus 52 divided by 2. That is 60 minus 52 divided by 2. Okay, now the top length would be 13. So it's 10 minus 3. 10 min it's 10 minus 13. That would give us 3. 
the distance between those two planes is nothing but 40 so half of it would be 20 let's go to line to a straight line let's draw for 20 or 40 divided by 2 let's connect it with another line and delete the old line let's delete that yeah let's delete the other ones the dimensions also yeah all the dimensions are removed let's go on making the whole sketch go to line extend the line till that let's draw the midline and connect it now let's mirror them go to mirror select the lines one two three four five done mirror line click on that line and click on apply so that's done let's click on the line and connect them yeah it's totally done even down finish sketch before that let's go to view share it let's get back the view extrude Let's extrude the diagram which we made. The whole length is 230 minus 40 minus 15 minus 5. 220 minus 40 minus 15 is also appropriate. Click on that. Yeah, click on those two. Okay. We are done with the body part, half of it. So lots is there. Let's go to that part, new sketch. The height is 30. So let's draw a line of 30. So that would be your midpoint for a circle. The circle's diameter is 32. Let's go to circle. Click on circle 32 s the smaller diameter would be 12 12 yeah that's done let's see from another view finish sketch we can extrude this part extrude the inner circle let's go let go inside cut it okay Let's see the outer circle by going to the extrude file, make it visible, extrude the outer part by file. Okay, now let's make the sketch invisible. We're done with that. We shall do the same on the other side. New sketch, the height is 30. Let's draw a line of the height. Third. Let's draw a line of height thirty. Circle. Circle would be thirty two. Smaller diameter of twenty. Now that's done. Let's go to extrude. Let's select the inner circle. Let's cut it out. Okay. Okay. Now let's make the extrude 7 sketch 5 visible. Let's click on extrude and extrude that part. And that will be 5. Okay. Let's make the sketch invisible. Now we're done with that. Let's make the oil holes is 10 mm apart let's go click on that new sketch line 
like over there 10 meters 10 millimeters let's click on hole let's drag that over there let's go to from sketch the fourth option counter sync click on that part the diameter would be three this would be two okay we should increase the length yeah let's pull it over there and go through okay so one oil hole is done Let's right click on that new sketch. We shall make two more, we shall make one more oil hole right from the center. The distance is 20. Let's click on line, click go there 20. Finish sketch hole from sketch. Click on the sketch, counter sync. This would be three. Everything's fine. Let's see from another angle, another view. Let's pull it down so it comes out. Yeah. Okay. So let's go to view, visual wireframe. Yeah, it's all proper. Both the oil holes are passing through. Let's get back. Shaded with edge. Let's right click new sketch. Let's right click new sketch. The distance is 12.5. Another two holes. Another two holes. 12.5. The distance between them is the distance between them is 60. 60 divided by 2 would be 30. It's 30 on the other side and third 60 on the other side. There it goes. Yeah. Let's finish sketch. Go to hole. Click on them. Um, sketch, counter sync, that one. Click on that. Click on that. Diameter is 5. Deep is 13. Okay. Threading should be given. Click on that. Specification isometric size would be M6. Go to 6 size and that is M6. Okay. Same thing should be done there. Click on the thread. Click on that. Isometric type six. Okay. Let's go to fillet and fillet the. Let's go to fillet and fillet the circles. Let's go to fillet and fillet. One radius. Click over there. 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 Okay. Wherever it's necessary. Yeah, going on everywhere. So, finding all the parts for filleting. Hmm. That one, the other one, the other wing side. Yeah. Other side, yeah. Apply. Cancel. Now let's put another radius of 5. It's for the circle, yeah. The side and the other side. Okay. Apply. Cancel it. Let's go to threading. Go to that one. 
specification isometric profile size is 12 cancel fading the other one isometric profile apply so we are almost done with it let's go to file i properties physical let's choose a material to be iron let's cast iron close let's save the file save as the body of the vice save the second part would be the movable jaw so let's go to file metric standard mm create start sketch xy plane the distance is 50 and the height is 45 let's go to rectangle that would be 50 and the height is 45 the height again over there is 3 mm let's take a line extend it the horizontal length is 5 line let's extend it 5 so the height is 25 let's extend the line again The other distance that is the horizontal line that is 35 mm line 35 yeah the height over there is 10 mm so let's go to line draw a line of 10 mm draw it straight up 10 yeah take another line draw a straight line so it intersects the top line okay let's connect them there should be a fillet over there let's go to fillet the fillet radius would be 10 draw click on those two lines okay all done fill it on the other side that's radius 3 Click on those two lines. Okay. Finish sketch. Finish sketch. Let's extrude the part. The extrude length is 40. The bottom part would be 40. Yeah that's on both these sides oh so, yeah okay now let's go to extrusion one make the sketch visible now the, the top part should also be extended by a length of 100 extrude length is 100 extrude on both sides by 50 and 50 okay now we got the outer covering we made the sketch invisible the distance of that is 27 new sketch let's go to line draw midline from there 27 yeah let's draw a circle of 20 diameter circle 20 diameter yeah Let's see it from the other angle. Finish sketch. Let's extrude it. Click on that. Let's make a hole over there. Okay. Yeah, it's going through. Click on OK. Now, now we are left with four holes. Those are the two holes. The distance between them is 60. Let's go to line. 
let's see the midline fifteen point five that would be the top distance click on line again thirty the other side would be sixty now we can make the holes let's click on finish sketch let's go to hole from sketch over there and there the fourth option that's countersink the depth is 13 diameter is 5 5 13 this would be 4 okay two holes are done let's go see that let's go to the bottom two more holes the distance is 24 let's right click new sketch line draw the line from there okay the center point of that line and the distance would be 24 divided by 2 that is 12 24 okay finish sketch let's make holes over there click on hole click on those two points depth is 13 diameter is 5 as usual same thing okay so we are done with the movable jaw we'll have to give it properties okay threading is left specification threading specification isometric profile everything is fine apply threading should be given for the holes one over there specification isometric profile M6 so go for, go for so go for size 6 apply do the same thing for the other side specification isometric size 6 apply same thing would be done there click on that specification isometric size 6 apply same thing over there isometric size 6 apply We are done with this. Let's go to file and give it properties. File I properties, physical, iron cast, apply, close. Let's save the file. Save as movable jaw. Save. Let's design the third part that is the jaw grip. Let's go to file, metric, standard mm, create. Let's go to start 2D scratch, xy plane. Let's take a rectangle of 28 and 100 mm. 28 and 100, that's 100 over there, and 28. In the side let's finish sketch and extrude it the extrude distance is 8 okay let's click on okay new sketch we'll have to make two holes which is 60 meet 60 mm apart height of 12.5 Height of 12.5 mm, 30 on each side, 30 over here, 60 on the other side. Let's finish sketch and make holes. Hole, click on those two points. Fourth option that's countersink. The diameter is 12.
the billow diameter is 6.3 and the distance is 8 okay so we got it over there let's right click properties let's go to alum no link 45 face so we nulled it now let's go to eye properties physical it's steel cast which will also be named as cast steel let's go to file and save it it's called its jaw grip and there we go let's make the 3d model of a screw so let's go to file metric standard mm create start sketch xy plane the distance would be 16 line 16 the height would be 12 draw a line that's 12 divided by 2 6 on each side another line over there 6 divided by 2 would be 3 distance is 16 minus 4 that would be 16 minus 4 and join the two points two ends line click over there click over there finish sketch let's revolve it click on the plane profile then the axis okay this part is done we'll have to get a notch over there of 1.6 mm distance so let's make a new sketch rectangle sketch with two click it over there 1.6 be the length finish sketch let's extrude it cut it over there the distance is 1.9 so we cut to a distance of 1.9 click on ok most of the screw is ready let's chamfer it click on the edge that would be 1 apply okay threading let's click on that part specification isometric profile it's done apply let's give in the property file i properties physical general metric fe 410 w apply file and let's save it screw m6 okay let's come to the most important part screw rod let's make a 3d model of it let's go to file metric standard mm create start 2d sketch xy plane as usual the distance over there the length is 250 mm plus 40 so that would be 40 plus 250 yeah that distance is 32 32 divided by 2 will be 16 the length is 40 okay one of the line 16 the other length is 20 so 20 divided by 2 will be 10 the distance is 170 plus 40 
that is 40 plus 170 let's connect them again the distance over there is 12 so 12 divided by 2 would be 6 so 12 divided by 2 6 the length over there is 18 mm 18 okay that length is 10 click on line take it over there if I let's join that connect it over there yeah all done now those parts let's trim it off trim the other parts delete the dimensions trim trim them yeah all done let's finish sketch and revolve it let's click on uh, revolve yeah click on the profile then the axis okay let's fillet that part by a radius of 3 apply cancel X Z plane right click new sketch as usual let's draw a line which is at a distance of 20 let's draw a circle over there and let's cut it through the line is 20 circle circle is 10 the diameter is 10 finish sketch let's extrude it so we cut through it yeah cut on both sides extend it okay Let's have threading. Go to thread. The offset distance would be 40 and the length would be 170. Specification isometric profile. Okay, apply, cancel. Now another threading should be done click on full thread click on the end part of it specification isometric profile apply cancel part of it is done let's go to tools material and add it the material is not there that's why I'm adding it fe 410 w metal apply three d file i properties physical let's search for fe yeah fe apply close let's go to file and save it save it as screw rod save now we are ready with the screw rod let's go to our next part let's make a washer screw let's go to file metric standard mm and create 2d sketch xy plane as usual the diameter is 32 and the di inner diameter is 10.5 so cool and yeah the inner diameter is 10.5 let's ex oh yeah let's finish sketch and extrude it distance is 3 okay hmm let's go to file i properties give it properties physical that would be FE14W 
apply close file save it as let's save it as washer save let's make the nut let's go to file standard mm create 2d sketch xy plane the nut diameter is 10 circle let's take it as 10 mm another one is a hexagon so line distance is 18.72 divided by 2 same thing on the other side into 2 let's go to polygon six sided click on the center extend it till there yeah done let's delete the part delete that finish sketch and let's extrude let's extrude it the distance is 8 so let's give it as 8 mm okay okay good origin XZ plane right click new sketch let's draw a line from there to 1.5 you'll get to know what I'm doing another line from there to 1.5 let's join them once that is done let's draw a line over there and in this sketch let's revolve it that part then the axis is over there cut it okay now we got to see that the mid plane between those two planes will be found and we will be mirroring it mid plane is found let's go to mirror feature mirror plane click on that okay let's hide the mirror working plane invisible yeah done i properties physical let's take fe 14w apply close let's save the nut save it as nut what else could it be save our nut is ready now we have another nut the distance of 5 so let's go to extrude edit feature let's make that 5 okay this is as simple as that two nuts with different dimension the same thing save it as lock nut save let's design the clamping plate for that We'll have to go to file metric standard mm create as usual let's go to start sketch xy plane now the dimension would be of rectangle that would be a square 50 and 50 on either sides four sides would be 50 50 50 50 50 and 50 okay we got a square now we'll have to make holes through the square finish squatch and extrude it before that extrude it by 8 mm let's go to extrude 8 okay once this is done new sketch over there let's take the center point between them that would be 25 and the distance between them would be 24 25 24 on one side let's divide by 2 it's 12 and 24 till that finish sketch let's make holes go there from sketch countersink the hole over there the hole over there 
the whole diameter is 12 that would be 12 the distance would be 8 as given and the outer one would be 6.3 okay that's also done okay so we got our clamping plate let's go to properties physical if we 410w apply close file go to save as and we name it as clamping plate so clamping plate is also ready saving yeah saved now we'll be making the assembly for all the parts that we have made now we are down to our assembly so let's assemble all the parts let's go to file create that's metric assembly standard mm create um let's place it again body of device yeah let's ground it now let's place the clamping plate let's rotate it right click rotate again rotate yeah perfect now we'll have to constrain it let's go to constrain type the first type solution would be the first type let's mate let's select the first body let's go through the axis of those two places yeah apply now it might rotate so we'll have to fix the other axis also look at that it's rotating go to constrain type 1 solution 1 that's mate let's go through the axis and the other axis okay apply so this can move front and back let's attach it or fix it over there so again let's go to constrain choose that part then on the other side yeah apply so it's fixed over there let's go to place and get back a movable jaw place it over there we will have to place it along the axis of the holes go to constraint go to that axis then the body's axis okay now it can move front and back and rotate so it can slide so let's hold it still so it doesn't rotate let's choose that part over there okay and the body done apply so it won't be able to rotate It'll be it can move front and back let's place the jaw grip let's rotate it right click rotate y90 okay let's place it over there constrain again we'll constrain it through the back part and over there yeah it's fixed now this can move so we'll have to fix it through the holes that's the axis let's constrain it through one hole um, yeah perfect that would do it cancel oh it's rotating we'll have to constrain it again let's click on constrain check the other hole now this will yeah click on apply all done now let's place the oh, screw rod okay we'll have to rotate it rotate it again perfect now we'll use constraint to place through the hole with the help of the axis okay let's attach it over there again let's go to constraint click over there over there done apply now that this is done let's get in few other parts let's get in the washer rotate it okay go to constraint click on the axis of that yeah 
washer in the axis of the screw rod yeah perfect now let's attach it to the body this part then the other one oh apply place another bolt or a nut rotate it okay constrain let pass through that let pass through this yeah let's fix it over there constrain choose the back part the back surface place it on the washer apply let's get the lock nut place lock nut open rotate by y 90 degrees constrain axis axis apply pull it front now constrain it to the other bolt or the nut click on the now on the nut yeah apply let's place the screw m6 yeah one two three four let's rotate the top two screws go to free rotate rotate it perfect yes enter oh let's click on constraint constraint to the axis axis over there axis of the screw again axis over there perfect apply let's use the second option in constraint now that is flush over there on the screw and the surface what does flush do it gets in the two surfaces aligned together let's do the same thing with other two screws axis axis apply flush it flush it apply now let's go to place and get the clamping plate okay let's rotate it free rotate hmm that's enough mostly constraint choose the bottom axis come on yeah there was two let's again go to constraint and choose the other axis that and that apply constraint click on that the other part apply let's get in two screws let's go to screw m6 copy that paste it over there again paste another one perfect copy them free rotate get them right constraint let go through the axis uh, axis apply axis axis apply second type of solution let's flush put the screws to the surface yeah apply all this is done now we'll have to go to file and save it as usual assembly that's oh, machine wise machine wise assembly save as i talked about earlier for college purpose we'll have to make the drafting for that let's go to file metric 
then drawing ansimm dot awg create we got a sheet right click on ansi delete it then go to sheet edit sheet a3 size okay let's go to base let's insert the assembly machine wise assembly dot iam there we go this first type of style let's rotate it yeah top view okay let's pull it to the left bottom let's get the section view of it section over there yeah the center point pull it down take it towards the left take it up right click continue first type of style okay we got that let's pull it up perfect we got the section view yeah just align align just aligning it go to base choose our machine wise assembly okay second type of style the iso view okay let's place it over there now we'll have to start naming the body parts for that let's go to annotations star but balloons auto balloons select view set yeah click on that add a remote components yeah, left click and drag select parameters vertical perfect we got it over there apply now we'll have to get the part list go to part list click on that okay that's also done we'll place the part list over there right bottom there's items quantity let's go to edit part list let's go to the first option let's remove description and let's add um, material add it click ok apply so we have items quantity part number and materials we are done with our 2d drafting this is how we make a machine wise thanks a lot guys for watching it we will be back with other great videos of how to design other machine tools. Thank you.